ACT comes with 10 predefined smart task templates and we'll have a look at running a number of these. We'll also create a couple of brand new templates from scratch and I'll show you how the new update feels smart task works. And if you want to set up smart tasks to run offline, I'll show you how this works. So they'll run in the background without ACT being open. This also will work if you want to have emails automatically sent. So we'll come on and start with looking at the template called Contacts with no recent activity. So in more detail, starting at the top, you can see that this smart task is going to look through the database for all of those contacts that haven't received an email or an activity within the last 90 days. If you want to change it, click the edit button and you might decide you want to change the time it's going to run. I'm going to change the time to 10.30. You could change the conditions. I'd like to know all of those contacts that haven't had an email within the last 40 days. So I'll click Edit Conditions and come along to Last Email and edit that row and change the value to 40 and click OK. OK one more time. Now make sure you've got a tick showing here, Run Only Once for Any Record. Click OK. And now, if those conditions are met, what's going to happen is that contact and the record manager will have an activity showing in their window to follow up. And let's click the Edit button, and there you can see the detail of that. You can see that it's going to be following up neglected contacts. And click OK if you don't want to change anything there. Now we must make sure we enable Auto Run so it runs in the background automatically. So click that button and over here on the left hand side you can see that this smart task is automatically running every day at 10.30. There are times when you'll want to run smart tasks manually. We'll use the example of the birthday reminder. This smart task is going to search the entire database for everyone who's got a birthday within the next seven days. And an activity will be added to the contact records window and the smart task users window. So let's go over to ACT now and run this smart task manually. We'll come up to Schedule, Run Smart Task, and you can see the birthday reminder is selected. We can run it against the current contact or a lookup or all contacts. And when running manually, the selected smart task applies the defined conditions. So that's birthdays within the next seven days. So we'll click run and the smart task has been successfully started. And there you can see the smart task birthday reminder. Highlight it and click run. And what you can see, this contact record has a birthday this week. And if we come over to the Activities tab, there you can see the birthday reminder activity is showing in the contact records window. Now we'll look at a high value opportunity smart task. This is going to be looking through the database for all of those opportunities that are greater than $1,000 and sending an email to remind the record manager to chase up. So you can click the edit button and make any changes there you wish. Making sure there's a tick showing in run only once. Click OK and let's click the edit button. This is what the next stage is going to look like. So if the criteria are met, the email is going to go to the record manager, that's the subject line, that's the message body, which you can obviously change. And when you're happy with all of that, click OK. You will need to make sure Enable Auto Run is working. Now we're going to go back over to ACT because I want to show you how to set up offline smart tasks. We'll come up to Tools and down to Set Up Offline Smart Tasks. 
if you're never going to send an email automatically through the system, all you need to do is just put a tick in here to enable offline smart tasks, and that will work behind the scenes to just set schedule activities for users, etc. But we want to be able to send emails when ACT isn't open. So you'll put in there your server name and we'll keep the port at 25 and then we'll put a tick in here my SMTP server requires authentication type in your account name and your password and you can even send a test email just to make sure this is all working and click OK. Now we'll take a look at an ACT eMarketing Smart Task template. This one is going to send an email to new contacts to welcome them to the company. You'll notice that this kind of smart task can only be run manually. And when you click the edit button, you get a reminder that in ACT you go to the schedule menu and you click run smart task. Click OK. This step is where you can choose the template you want to send. Click the edit button, you can type a step name if you want, you can choose the template from the list of templates you've currently got saved in your acting marketing area. You can choose a subject line, add a personal message and click OK. You must make sure that you're actually logged into Sage Act while this step is running. So how you'd work it is you'd go to ACT, look up all the new contacts and then run the smart task manually and all of those contacts would get this welcome message via ACT eMarketing. Now let's take a look at how you can use smart tasks to update a field when certain conditions are met. Sarah looks after all of the New York contacts. So I'm going to make sure that she's the records manager for all contacts added to the database. So we'll come over to Manage Smart Tasks. We'll click New Smart Task. The name is going to be Sarah's New York Clients. It's going to be based on a condition. We'll click Edit Conditions. And here I'm going to find the state field. And scroll down and find that. And that's going to be equal to New York and add that to the list and click OK. And it's going to run only once for any record and OK one more time. And here I'm going to add a step. And the step is going to be to update a field. And the field I'm going to update is going to update automatically without prompting the user. And it's going to be the contents of the record manager field. And I'm going to change that to Sarah and click OK. And so that smart task will now take place behind the scenes every time a new contact is added to the database based in New York the records manager will be updated to show Sarah's name. Now let's create a brand new smart task from scratch. I'm going to base it on this service contract field. I'd like to send out an email to all of those contacts whose contract is due for renewal within the next 30 days. So let's come over to Manage Smart Tasks. We'll create a new one, click New Smart Task, type in there the name, it's going to be run based on conditions. So I'll select that and click Edit Conditions. So I'm going to look for the field name Service Contract and I need to find that in this list. And the operator is within the next 30 days. So I'll put 30 in there as the value, add that to the list and click OK. And this is going to run only once for any record and click OK. So now I'm going to click here to add a step and I could have a time delay if I wanted to, but I want to send an email straight away. And I'm going to make sure a tick is showing here, automatically send the email without prompting the user. It's going to go to the contact select that. I'm going to send a copy to the record manager. I'm going to put in there the subject. 
I'm going to type in here the message body. I'll just come over to Word and grab some text, copy that to the clipboard, back into Act and paste that into the window and click OK. And there you can see this new smart task has been set up. I'll make sure we enable auto run and every time a contact record, the service renewal is due up within the next 30 days, they will automatically receive an email from me.